Hello, I'm Lina Kalein and in this video we're going to draw one of my favorite action figures is Iron Man. Iron Man is very special to me and he has this, this great maneuvers with the beam coming out of his hand and that's the one we're going to draw today. It's this. This is the Iron Man that we're going to draw and this is my pre-study and as you can see my main lines are very important in setting up the, the drawing. Here you see the line from getting under the chin so now I can precise where the heart will be and also the line for the where the view is going to go and the way the arm is going. We have to deal here with a lot of perspective and uh, also the beam that's coming out of the cloth is very important. You can see them all going in one direction. Also the, oops, also the way uh, the body goes is very important. This is a very quick drawing I did of Iron Man. And again, I will show you the main lines that we need to do this drawing. You can see the hand is bigger than the head. It's because of the perspective, the hand will appear a little bit bigger than the hand is. So please keep this in mind. Also the way that the eyes are positioned in the helmet are very important. Ok, let's put this aside and we will start drawing from scratch. This is my start. I start off with the head and as you can see the head is positioned in the left corner of your drawing space. You need it to be there because you need a lot of space for the shoulder and the arm and it's stretching out to the right so you really need a large space in your drawing section. As I'm putting in the head I can already decide where the eyes will be and where, where the ear piece will be. Then I draw a straight line and then I can see the mechanics for the heart piece that is in the suit. Underneath the helmet there is the part that is very uh, movable and here I draw in the precise lines for how the helmet is uh, at the outside of the lines. This drawing is one and one so you can easily draw along. When I'm going too fast, please just pause the film for a moment or rewind it a little bit so you can easily draw along. For the breast part there are a lot of segments going on. The segments enclose the heart piece. What I did is I studied a lot of pictures on, uh, on Google and to see how the suit of the Iron Man is built up. That's really helpful for your drawing technique.
here I position the way uh, the eyes are looking and the eyes are looking straight at the hand and the hand is casting a beam so now I am filling in the shoulder pad suit now I know the way the body is moving it's kind of turning towards the hand so the heart beat uh, the heart uh, piece is kind of pointing to the left while as the body is shifting its weight to the right As I'm drawing, I'm paying close attention to my pre-study. It's, uh, it's lying right next uh, beside me and I keep constantly watching uh, to my previous uh, study of the suit of the Iron Man. Drawing is a lot of observation. So please observate a lot before putting in your lines. This is the part where the six pack of the suit is uh, positioned and I put them in real easy. This is the hip piece and also on the hip there's some kind of join uh, sort segment where the leg is easily uh, bent and, and moving around. Now I can decide how big about the hand will be. All I do is draw a, a straight line for the middle finger and the thumb. From these two lines I can build up the glove of the Iron Man. The glove is kind of like a real hand, but the glove, well actually it fits like a glove, if you like to say that, and uh, so it really looks like a hand, apart from there are all kinds of segments going on on this glove. Here you can see those segments and between those segments there is that part where the, uh, the mechanic is built in for the beaming piece. The thumb will appear rather big because we have to deal with some perspective so the thumb appears a little bit bigger because it's coming right towards you. Now I can also place the lines for the, for the very fierce beam that's coming out of the glove. In the beam itself I put in little particles to make it look more lively. Otherwise it would be a straight beam which is possible too, but I want it to be a little bit more lively. And also on the tip of the fingers of the glove, there are some little light and some pieces going on. And I'm not drawing it in very detailed. If you want to pay more attention to the glove of the Iron Man, you should really look up uh, some, some examples on the internet to see exactly how the glove is built up. I'm zooming in here and now we're going to pay a little bit more attention to the helmet. There are two main segments 
on the front head of the helmet of the Iron Man. And these are divided into other segments. Here you can see the cheek, and the cheek is going straight down to the mouthpiece. Even the chin is divided into parts. I'd already drawn the line for the eye bit and as you can see the eyes are not uh, to see in this mask. They're just really narrow uh, kind of fierce looking eyes with a lot of dark around them. You can see here, the shoulder is uh, way up and is, uh, is higher than the eye line. Because he is, he is uh, lifting up his arm and he is uh, pulling up his hand in front of him. And that's what gives it this motion and action. Around the eyes, there's a lot of dark going on. Between the cheekbone and the jaw, there's a lot of shadow, so I also put these in. They're not actually a cheekbone and, uh, and the jaw, but it's still it's the helmet that follows the cheekbone and the jaw. What I first noticed when studying this Iron Man is that there's no nose in his helmet. So I, I pull out the little help lines. And now you can really see what the mask looks like. Between the shoulder pads there are also a lot of shadows. Those are the shadows, then you can decide that they are parted from each other. Part of the upper arm is really short. That's because of the perspective. In this part, there should be a lot of movement. So I put in some kind of rubber and that's where the elbow is about. On the, uh, uh, the lower part of the arm there is a mechanic which is also a weapon. That part is not movable. And just behind the hand there the uh, suit has to be very movable again. So here I put in dark again. Also on the glove there are a lot of segments. I draw these out and between them I put in a little bit of shadow. When you see a lot of lines that uh, are disturbing, simply put them out with, them, with your eraser. Okay. 
underneath the head. It's also very movable. So here I put in little segments again and little shadows. And this is again a part that should be moving real easy. The earpiece is also important. And it's kind of rounded, like the hard part. As you're drawing along, you can see a lot of little segments going on. You can uh, get this drawing, if you make it, as detailed as you want. I'm keeping this one as simple as possible. And still you can see a lot of little segments and, and movable parts. So I'm drawing in a lot of them, not all of them of course. I mainly draw the main parts that I've viewed from my studies. When you have your main line, lines going, you can put in more and more detail and more and more shadows. Here I'm getting started for the shadows around the beam. It's that very beam that made uh, me want to study this Iron Man. I love his film. I've seen it in the, in the cinema and then I bought it on DVD and I even watched it at home. I love the film Iron Man. And I love this figure and I love the suit. It's very dynamic and I love drawing it. The heart piece is very tricky. You have to decide what way it's going. I want it to move a little bit to the right, looking towards the hand if you like, if you like it. I'm getting more and more shadows now into my drawing. Gives the suit the hardness I want. By putting in the shadows, you can really make it look like it's not a, a human body or flesh what you're drawing, but it's actually a suit. The suit is, is uh, like a harness and it should look really sturdy and non-penetratable. To make my figure come out more in front, I put in a lot of darkness behind my Iron Man. 
As you can see now, uh, I've speeded up the time because uh, shading in your drawing simply takes a lot of time. Just start rendering from left to right or when you are left-handed from right to left. And I do not care a lot if uh, my uh, gray areas overlap each other. It gives it a kind of a dynamic feature. As I will continue drawing, um, I will uh, take a little piece of paper cloth and then I simply blend everything in. Here you can see me shifting towards my 6B pencil. I will hold my piece now for a little time, just let you watch and I'll be back with you in one moment.
here I'm back with you and as you've seen me drawing I've uh, used that uh, paper towel and I've blended in all everything together and when you then take an eraser here I'm using a pencil eraser you can easily take out some parts uh, by erasing them and giving some highlights to the suit of the Iron Man for now I'm signing up I'm signing my name I hope I wish you all the luck with this drawing. Please uh, send me an email or post uh, your drawings on my Facebook page. And I wish you all the luck with it. Kind regards. Take care. Lieneke Lijn.